Hey folks, it's Carl over at Sterling Health and Fitness. Thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm really pleased to have my very special guest returning to our program today. Um, her name is familiar, familiar to many of you, I'm sure. Um, she is a podiatrist and human movement specialist in the New York City area. And in addition, she's the founder of the Evidence-Based Fitness Academy. And she's also the author of a brand new book entitled Barefoot Strong, Unlock the Secrets to Movement Longevity. And this book is the subject of our little interview here today. So again, I'm very pleased to introduce my friend, my mentor, Dr. Emily Splitgold. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm I always, always love these virtual, virtual interviews. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fun. Um, you know, uh, I'm really excited about this book because when I saw you a couple weeks ago, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I got my hands in a copy of the proof that you let me look at, and I started thumbing through. I only yes. believed I didn't read yet, but um, good. Just, just the table of contents alone was fascinating. And so um, I'm excited that we're able to talk about this book today because one of the things I, I found just from briefly looking through is this is not just for your fitness professional or wellness professional. This is for everybody, which I think is really good. Yes. Yep, correct. Yeah, no, I wrote it um, with the professional in mind, but also for patients, athletes, clients, consumers. Um, I'm very much a believer in preventive health and um, just the way that the healthcare system is kind of shifting is people very much have to take their health in their own hands. Um, a lot of people do that as far as, like, their diet, their nutrition. Um, they do exercise and think about this important um, concept of preventive health, but I wanted to do a unique spin on that concept and really look at how our ability to move as far as our nervous system, um, our fascia, our connective tissue, recovery, et cetera, all of that stuff and what that plays in um, preventive medicine as well because you have all your orthopedic issues that need to be prevented as well just as much as cardiovascular disease or diabetes. Um, so it's, it, it is definitely designed for the um, patient consumer but also the professional. Yeah, it's great. And, of course, um, I've become familiar with your work from uh, going to your workshops and, you know, you know in person and then the online um, uh, webinars you have and things like that. And, you know, I've learned so much. It's like when we got together on that first interview last fall in September. I, I left there thinking, you know what, there's no way I can, like, not know more about this because it goes hand in hand. It's <laughs> like a glove with what I do as a trainer, you know, corrective exercise, but now I'm going really, like you say, from the ground up, not just the ankle up or the heel up. So we're, we're hitting the bottom of the foot and we're working our way up. And I've learned a tremendous amount. So what I'd love to have you share, though, um, I have a specific question I want to ask, is what is the association okay. between, uh, let's say, movement longevity and barefoot science? Sure. So, um, so as you, you had mentioned that the, the subtitle of the book is Unlocking the Secrets to Movement Longevity, and how I'm correlating that with barefoot strength is um, our ability to move and move effortlessly or pain-free or youthful, almost like how you think of how a child is, you know, running and jumping, and they seem to put no effort into their movements. Um, a lot of reason why they're moving in that way is because they're actually working with the ground in which they're moving on. You know, their, their nervous system is very primed. It's very young. It's, it's hungry, and it's very sensitive, which means that they are taking in their environment and actually using their environment. I think a lot of people um, – as we age and uh, injury sets in, a little bit of inactivity, a little bit of dehydration of your fascia, um, you know, a little dulling of your, your nerves in the bottom of the foot, you actually start fighting the environment versus working with the environment. So um, in Barefoot Strong, I talk about how everything has to go back 
to reconnecting to the ground, which means the bare foot, the skin on the bottom of the foot, the nerves in the bottom of the foot, all of our fascial lines or most of our fascial lines cross the bottom of the foot, and then really looking at what happens when we dynamically move is how is your body controlling these impact forces? You know, it's not just about, um, you know, a stability, a mobility. Can you do a single leg stance? It's more can your body react and almost anticipate these impact forces that are coming in? And it's really that anticipation factor that I teach in my book, in my programming, um, and I think really is the secret to movement longevity. Yeah, I, you know, when I first um, started studying what you, what you uh, teach, um, I was just fascinated by that whole anticipatory response. And, I, you know, I had no idea, actually. It's fascinating. So, yeah, it really is. So... <laughs> I'd love, I'd love to tie this in with, of course, that one chapter that really stuck out to me, probably because I'm entering the baby boomer. Mm-hmm. Well, I am in the baby boomer population, but there's so many of us. And, um, a lot of the baby boomers are having some serious issues, health issues of all kinds. But you have a chapter about baby boomers in your book. Can you tell us about that? Yes. Um, of course, yes. So um, that's an area that I'm... Also very passionate about is this barefoot baby boomers, um, or what I call the neurology of aging, is understanding what happens to your nervous system as we age, and then how that impedes your ability to move efficiently um, from the ground up. Everything is still looking from the ground up. So um, with baby boomers and kind of aging population, a lot of people think of the nervous system is the brain, like cognitive function. How can you protect, you know, your memory and um, your the way that you process and make decisions as you age? But just like we focus on cognitive function, you have to focus on your peripheral nerves because you have a very vast peripheral nervous system, which is just as sensitive and still needs to be um, challenged and shaped and molded as you age to keep you – um, you know, balance, stable, moving efficiently, doing the things that you love, not getting injured, stabilizing fast. Um, so in it, I look at um, kind of how the bottom of the foot ages, the unique nerves in the bottom of the foot, you know, what they're sensitive to. One of the um, statistics that I always reference and is in my book is that the receptors in the bottom of the foot, you probably know what I'm going to say, um, peak at age 40. And then, <laughs> yes. Well, first, 80% of the receptors in the bottom of the foot are sensitive to vibration, mm-hmm. and vibration is how we detect impact forces. It's actually how we um, maintain stability when we walk because that's how we know what the surface is that we're walking on. Um, those receptors on the bottom of the foot, peak at age 40, and then by the time you're 70, you need twice as much stimuli to create the same response, Um, which is absolutely amazing, and that's highly contributable to the amount of falls as we age. And that's really, from a public health perspective, that's the number one concern for aging population and all these baby boomers is fall risk because falls cost so much money. People aren't necessarily, you know, kick in the bucket after a fall, but they get an injury that puts them so that a lot of them then get, you know, like if you fracture a hip at a certain age, a lot of people don't bounce back after that, and then that costs the healthcare system a lot of money. So from a public health perspective, any of these, like, senior fitness, um, you know, baby boomer fitness, like let's keep our, our functionality as we age, has to have a, a barefoot component to it because that's the foundation of how you stabilize and how you move. Um, it's fascinating to me that they don't focus on that. So yeah. it's kind of my mission with this. <laughs> well, there's so many stories of people, you know, we hear it all the time, I'm sure you see it all the time in, in your profession as uh, people who fall down and break a hip. It's basically their quality of life just starts to spiral downward. And like you say, they don't yeah. have that. And uh, who knows where it could be lead them to. I mean, um, maybe their, well, certainly their functionality is impaired, the mobility is impaired, and it just, you know, it costs 
not only the system, I guess, but you know, you have the loved ones who are taking care of them, and this and that. So there's a lot of energy, yeah, and financial gain. And what I think is uh, really cool about this is the fact that if you take action, like any area of health, generally speaking, you know, you can't avoid all problems, but you can try to take health into your own hands. And this is an area where we, we can start to improve our uh, mobility or stability um, with, with the barefoot science. Yeah. And there's, I try to put it in a way that people can do it every day. Um, I guess that's something that I learned of, you know, doing patient care is if things are not put in a way that are very simple and can just be just kind of like plugged into their current lifestyle, the compliance is very low. Um, so I've tried to encourage patients to do little things, you know, when they're brushing their teeth in the morning, at the end of the day, when you're cooking, like how can you kind of get this, you know, stimulation, stand on one leg when you're cooking, um, different things like that. Yeah, right. You Sorry, I think it froze. You're brushing your teeth, you're cooking, all kinds of different things, right? Yes. Yeah, that's so cool. Yes. I think short is like probably one of the coolest things I ever learned. And I'm using it all the time. I it, think so as well. Yeah, whether I'm in, have my shoes on or preferably off, um, you know, I find mm-hmm. myself digging my, my toe in a lot, finding the foot tripod and just going into the short foot because I feel that in the past, since the past seven months or whenever I um, first met up with you, we did our first interview, um, I practice it a lot. It really helps me. It's great, and I'm certainly past 40 years old, so I'm off those receptors working. <laughs> <laughs> well, I even push it. Um, I just wrote a blog about diabetic health and diabetes and this neuropathy and how doing concepts that are in this in um, with somebody who has neuropathy is still beneficial because most neuropathy is sensory, which means they might not feel their foot, but they can still engage the muscles of the foot, and they can still get that reflexive activation up in their core. So very much a proponent of that. Yeah, that's, I remember talking about So that's a whole other spin. Yeah, it is, and maybe we could talk about this someday in detail, because that last workshop I was at, we talked about neuropathy a lot. That is really interesting. Really interesting. Well, this is so cool. Um, I'm really excited for you um, uh, that this... You know, this book is out now, and I, I know it's getting a lot of um, attention, and I hope, you know, I know it's going to do very well. You're going to sell a lot of copies. Of course, I'm an advocate, so. <laughs> I'm an advocate of the work that you do. Um, certainly grateful to have this connection and to learn so much. It's really helped me a lot personally, and my clients are benefiting, because I don't know if I, let, if I told you, but a lot of my clients, we're doing barefoot in our workouts. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, we head good. out to the main gym so they don't allow bare feet in there. We head downstairs and we do a lot of barefoot stuff. So, you know, they like it too. A lot of them are baby boomer populations. So it's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, no, that's have, awesome. Yeah, I'll have a, a link on the screen here where people can um, uh, click and go to order the book and also other links to your website. But okay. for the listeners, I also do the audio uh, iTunes podcast, so it's just an audio version of this. Can you tell me the website okay. that you go to to um, to buy the book? Sure. So the book <laughs> here is um, it's available in print as well as an ebook. So it can be um, purchased by print on either my website ebfafitness.com or Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com. It's on Apple.com. Um, there's a bunch of other ebook distributors that I'm not familiar with, but it's on almost every distributor. Um, it's in every country's version of Amazon. So I know Amazon UK, they have it. Amazon Australia, they have it. Um, so people don't have to pay the expensive shipping fee as they can get this um, in their country. So it's worldwide. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So for people who are listening to the audio version of this, um, it is Barefoot Strong, Unlock the Secrets to Movement Longevity by Dr. Emily Splickle. And uh, go search for her, search for this book. Um, I know I'm going to get my copy sooner. I can't wait. And I'm going to it'll become a 
one of those staples in my library that I'm referring to often because I, there are a few books that are. Oh God. This is one of those ones I feel everyone needs to buy a copy personally. Because you, if you do yourself a huge. Yeah, it's a. It's a yeah. People can do it themselves a huge favor by uh, learning this information. Awesome. Well, thank and you. And I, I, I also, um, I just want to add real quick that if yeah. people are um, having their clients start doing a lot of this barefoot movement and maybe the client is a little bit hesitant to it or um, wants to understand a little bit more about it, then um, they can get the book because it helps the patient and the client understand why the trainer, why the coach is pushing this product or this method. So um, that's what I also want it designed for is, you know, so that the client is much more supportive of what the, the trainer, the coach is trying to do. That's great. Actually, I'm glad that you mentioned that because that's, uh, I think that's really important. You know, I try to communicate with my people why we do everything we do. I don't know if every trainer works like mm -hmm. that, but um, sometimes it is a little bit difficult to articulate to certain people and have them really understand or go along with what we do. And, uh, so that, that's helpful. It's good to know. Well, good. Um, anything else you want to add? Um, I think we have some traveling coming up, Barefoot Summit in India next week, is it? Uh, yes. In almost uh, a little over a week will be the first ever Barefoot Training Summit in India. I'm very much excited for it, but I'm just kind of stressing, <laughs> trying to pull off a, a event where, um, but what's exciting is we have people from 10 different countries who are attending. So that's, it's very exciting to have people come from other countries to um, India to hear from some top presenters. Yeah, the, 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 the lineup is incredible. And then there's the one in Denver, May 15th to 17th. Barefoot Training Summit Denver, and uh, so I'll have that link going across there, too, just in case anyone wants to check that out. So, um, well, good. Okay. This is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining me. So, everyone, you need to buy this book, okay? Barefoot Strong, <laughs> all my students, The uh, Secrets to Movement Longevity. Um, thank you, Dr. Emily, for joining me, and uh, we'll be in touch soon. And, uh, in fact, if you can hang on the line here after I stop recording, that would be fantastic. Um, also, check out sterlinghealthfitness.com okay. because we have other interviews with other uh, um, medical experts, fitness professionals, and um, other in interviews with Dr. Emily. So, can you do that one more time? <laughs> yes. There's the book. Called. I feel like Vanna White or something. <laughs> well, you could win a new car. Absolutely. That's great. <laughs> Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Emily. Have a great day. Thank you.